Welcome to the Nightcap. It's your girl, Carolina Sanchez. And are you ready for a group of ladies that really bring it together? They stay lit. They stay funny. I mean, they are a family. But the drama, baby, it is messy. And you're going to be full of suspense. All right, I'm talking about the group chat based right here in Houston. All right, before I talk to them, I need a drink in my hand. My guy Aaron is here, and hey, you've you got doing? a beautiful cocktail for me. What is this? I made you a nice little French 75 today, something nice and classic and refreshing, classic. just like you. All right, yes, and like the ladies on the couch, okay? We've got five of the six of them from the group chat here. Ladies, are you ready? Yes. Let's get into it. Yeah, what's up for a nightcap? Chill, you know, kick back. And um, Sister Keisha, there's complications within her butt. She Jesus went for a body. She's coming back boxed. You know, um, so I want everyone to make sure we keep them in our prayers because we Jesus need Brother Daryl and Sister Keisha back in this congregation with us. Amen. Amen. Yeah, you can hear me, right? I up on everybody else's business, so our husbands can't hit the fan. No, what? Get ready. I'm a hoe, you with a hoe, so we might just be two hoes. Really? Man. Okay. Okay, they, they said drama, and the drama has been brought. We've got the ladies of the group chat in the building. Woo! All right, starting right here, we got Meaty here. Meaty. We've got Ariel. Hey, y'all. China over there. Hey, y'all. Egypt across from me. Yes. And Tiana. Hey, hey cheers, girl. ladies. Okay, so is that scripted? Is it reality? What kind of show is this? It's a mixture. It's a mixture. It's a mixture. It's, a mixture. it's more. Yeah. It's a more like of a. It's it's scripted like basic, but like the basis of it is scripted. But we more like improv. We get the basis. She gives us the, um, I guess like idea, mm -hmm. yeah, the and then we just. We just go. go. We just go. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all really go there. Yeah. Y'all well. <laughs> bring that drama. Yeah. Yeah. Get the right. out of here. Yeah. Love the hip hop has nothing on us. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so how did you all come together? Through uh, Riri. Through Riri. Riri chose y'all. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. was like, you, 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 mm. you, you. Yeah. Y'all are the group chat. Yeah. 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 All right, if you guys had to describe the show, how would you describe it? Um. I think loyalty and um, I think definitely loyalty. Testing that loyalty, I feel yeah, like I is what's going on. Of, Cause we 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 act like we've been knowing each other, hang on each other all day long, and mm -hmm. we don't. So it's like when we meet up, it's go time, show time. Y'all show up. It's like family. I would say it's um, it's very relatable. A lot of the stuff mm -hmm. that we talk about and the scenes in the show is actual stuff, real stuff that mm -hmm. people go through every day. So when you when you watch our show, you're gonna be like, I've been there before. Mm. Would y'all say that your own personality comes through in your character? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yes. Yes. It's <laughs> 1,000. Yeah. But I'm China's much. like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> no. Who are you versus who's on the show? I'm Shamika. Okay. I'm a real messy friend. I got all the tea because I'm a cosmetologist. I'm, I got my own shop. I do hair. So all the tea come in because, you know, when girls come get their hair done, they just want to talk about people's business. They want to talk about it. But um, when people talk about my friends, I get a little offended. You mm. know, who as you seen, get the mm -hmm, get up out of here with all that. You know what I'm saying? But Shamika, they... They think Shamika messy. Shamika not messy. She <laughs> just get the tea and she related to y'all. To who it needs to be told to. Exactly. Right? No. <laughs> For me. I'm going to say yes. And I didn't know how to take that. Because I'm going to say, on the show, Nikita is very, like, <laughs> self-centered. <you know>? Okay. <laughs> and I heard about that in my real life, uh -huh. but I don't see it. Like, I just really don't see it, you know, because I'm a very... I'm sorry, I'm going to be messy and ask you ladies, is she self-centered, not in real life? Uh, 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 in real uh, life, not real life, she cool. Mm. You she, bring the mess tonight. All right. We don't hang she the one on team. Really? No. So you no. guys have not formed relationships beyond the show? No. 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 That's what no. I was saying. I mean, I've been on her, but... Beyond just, that, we yeah. know each other through Instagram. But y'all show up and do work. We do yes. work. And so there's a, a mutual respect. And right. so that's where the family aspect, I feel right. like, is yeah. in it. And I mean, 
Y'all had me here glued. <laughs> like, what's what is this show yeah. about? Yeah. Hey, I, I love think, it. I don't think Ariel self centered. She just she a bunch of different people. <laughs> you know, if you I, follow yeah. her, if you follow her on Instagram, then you know she a bunch of different people. You never know who you get. So are you schizophrenic? No, no, no. Okay, okay. We're not gonna go there. <laughs> no, I am an entertainer. Okay. So what I do on Instagram is, you know, I do skits of whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like on the show, like she, Nikita is so bossy. Oh Jeez. my God. Like it's just Nikita's way or no way. And for me to say like in my real life, yeah, I, when I seen that on TV, I'm like, dang, this is you, Ariel. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Like I didn't know how to take that. But I mean. Tiana, what were you about to say, boo? She's a bit much. <laughs> on the show. On the show. Okay. Yeah. All right, what about your character? I don't think I really relate to my character. Okay. For one, she's secretive. I'm not. Okay. You know, um, she don't like drama and mess. I do. Mm. So I don't relate to my so character. So you don't relate. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, Egypt, what about you and your character? Me and my character, we like one and one. She's secretive. We one and one. And that's her in Kim real life. Kim is very, I guess, Sadiddy. high sedity. She's very secretive. She don't let everybody in her business. But best and believe, when we get home, it's drama behind them closed doors. And oh, that's, okay. that's literally like my everyday life. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in letting my drama at home out in the streets because don't nobody need to know what's going on in my home. Right. Like my mom used to say, what happens in my house stays in my house. Mm. And that's how I really do live my life. And I think you should speak up on domestic violence though. So. Oh, but honestly, as far as the, the, the DV, the domestic violence. All right, let's I, talk. We're going to talk about yeah. that domestic violence. All right, <laughs> y'all yeah. stay right there because we got the ladies from the group chat in the building and the conversation with them continues after the break. Tommy? Where the fuck you been at all night? Man, you know I had to get me some me time. You be out with your I be you be out with your I wanted to go out with my girls. What's up? Nah, f all that man. I come home from work and doing mechanic work all my night. I come home to a paper plate for some Like four o'clock in the morning. What kind of you on, huh? What you think I'm on? What you Bro, mean? I'm not gonna play with you. You got that? Bro. Tommy, you tripping? Bro. Tommy, back Look, up. You tripping? Tommy, you like All right, see, that's the suspense we were talking about earlier. You got me on the edge of my seat. I got the ladies of the group chat in the building. We've got Meaty, we've got Ariel, we've got China, Egypt, and Tiana. All right, before we went for the break, Tiana called you out. Yeah, she said, we she need did. to talk about the domestic violence because it's very clearly on the show. Yeah. So... Speak so, on it, baby. So yeah, domestic violence is something that um, I wouldn't say every woman goes through, mm -hmm. but I personally have been through it a couple of times in my life. So that's the part where I said Kim is like totally E, one like for from like to the bottom of my heart. It's not cool. Um, if you have the chance to get out, I do say get out. Um, if you feel like you're unsafe, there's always places for you to call and reach out, but yeah. I've definitely dealt with domestic violence in a lot of my past relationships. And it's, and I wouldn't um, say that, hmm, Utachi, you got me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I only want you to share what you're comfortable with, yeah. but I do love that it's relatable in that way, that there are women and men out there who face domestic violence, so you are offering an, a, a platform. So how involved are you in like writing a scene so that you're true to you know, victims out there and making sure that you're not making fun of or being too gratuitous with a scene like that. Okay, so with so I don't I don't write anything. Right. You know, uh Riri, she is like Miss Cleo. I don't know if she can see the future or something. She got a crystal ball back there. <laughs> <laughs> but there was actually one scene where um I showed up to Nikita's house with a black eye. And literally the night before me and my partner got into it and she really gave me a black eye. Wow. So it was it was like one of those things to where I couldn't do anything but show up as my authentic self because that's who I was. Wow. 
So it was no like, I never thought of making fun of anybody. I was just like, this kind of hits home. It just, it just really just hit home. Every time it was like, oh my gosh, I've literally lived this scenario. And are most you of getting help? Oh, of course. Yeah, you are. I'm good now. I'm safe. I'm great. Okay. And is this how it really gets? Like, do you feel like you guys touch on multiple things that families So, th this show came about because Re wanted to write about stuff that's actually going on in Houston. Social media. So, some of the topics that we talk about are definitely people in, in Houston right now. They living it. They going through it. We just changed their names, you know. All right, Meaty, we haven't talked about you and your character. Okay, so my character is, um, I'm her friend, China friend, Richard Shamiko. I'm her friend, and I come in and come into the group, to the pe to the women, as Meaty, who's a street female, getting away from the streets, and started rapping and being around them. Wow. <laughs> How does it feel to look back on your life and see where you are now? Um, it's very amazing. Uh, it's very amazing. It's very amazing. I'm so excited. Like, I ain't think I can, I ain't have it in me. But, uh, but hell yeah, good. you did. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Riri and the girls. Yes, they Grab open their arms up. to me. They is hell. They hell. <laughs> <laughs> they have a good time and they are hell. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I love it. All right, we're going to have to talk about where people can watch the show and what y'all think about having a show like this in Houston, all right? All right. You stay right there because we're going to continue with the ladies of the group chat when we come back. Despite all the bullshit because y'all at the end of the day, no. I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna shed no tears. I'm so all about my shit. Yeah, no way. Yeah, no way. Yeah, no way. I don't know who keeps me. I am the best. I am the best. See y'all later. Catch me when y'all catch me. This is why I don't come to the you out of life hitting below the belt like that, girl? I don't think I went too far. Like, come on now, I thought we all friends. Stop put your in these freaky ass shit. Look who telling me that. <laughs> the who put that in these shit. Birds of a feather flock together for the place. <laughs> 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 the fellas in here, but we got the lady in the group chat in here. You like the word yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Meaty Ariel, That's gonna be a good Egypt show. and Tiana. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so there's a kinship that y'all have formed, and obviously you guys are providing a great show that's coming out of Houston. What's it like putting it on for your city? Amazing. I, I feel good. like... It's relief. It's they don't stress. give us relief. a chance in H Town. Like everybody's scared to come here. They scared to do shows. So I feel like redoing something that ain't never been done before. Right. Yeah. Love and Hip Hop came to Houston for and two left. days and, and, and ran. Left. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She doing something that nobody else have ever done. She like pioneering that. So shout out to Sharice Shepard, Riri <laughs> from Pillow Talk, who got these ladies together, and some fellas who, yeah. are they are they fun too and funny? They real fun. They real fun. They real fun. Yeah. 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 Like, like, them the guys. Yeah. Them the guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so for people who haven't watched, mm -hmm. why should they watch? I mean, we've given them plenty of reasons, but I want you to talk to the camera and let them know why they need to be watching the group chat. If you want drama, if you want fun, funny, and friendship, definitely watch the show. Yeah. And to see me, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And if you want those nostalgic, like, girlfriends vibes, we giving it. We giving we it, baby. Giving it. Yeah. We giving nostalgic vibes. We gonna take you back. We gonna make you feel that warm feeling in your tummy where you, and then we gonna get you addicted. We gonna get you addicted. You I thought you said watching. we gonna get you a you Me said. too. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> one of those too. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. All right, so Bye. you guys are on Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tubi coming. Mm -hmm. If y'all ain't on there already, we got to go check. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Okay, and so. Three more. And more? Okay, so yeah, we doing more. good. Yeah. 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 I love it. What were you, you were about to say something right. I, I interrupted you. No, I'm just saying, dog, like, uh, it's just amazing that we just some good group of girls that anytime she calls us, 
it's just stop and we coming just to get the film done, just to get whatever we need done. And I just like that how we just how we cling to each other and I'm telling y'all, we naturally ain't around each other daily, and you would think that we around each other every day, and because it's really of just our vibe, yeah. really yeah. we just come and do a that's, job and burn out. Yeah, that's wow. amazing. But we we cool, dog. We feel yeah. yeah, All right, so you ain't really fighting people or shooting anybody up at China Shop. <laughs> Nah, no, I'm, okay, for, yeah, I'm for sure life, beating hoes up and shooting hoes up. <laughs> no, I'm real life. In real, in real life. <laughs> don't you, don't you try it. I keep that ratchet on me in real life. Oh, wow. But, wow. but, wow. but like me, I'm changing my life. I'm trying to Transition. leave the gangster stuff alone. You know what I'm saying? It's just... Be an actress. I'm trying to do this Taraji P thing. Okay. <laughs> Color purple in your future. Oh, <laughs> or maybe a show like Empire. Yeah. Oh, hey, okay. yeah, I'm just trying Let's to... manifest speaking into existence. Yeah. Yeah. 2024 yeah. is about to yeah. come. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take this group chat further. I mean, what I love about the name is that you have some really real conversations with people in the group chat that don't make it out, right? right. Yeah. right. You don't say these things out loud, yeah. but that's what y'all are doing, right? Yeah. right. Showing it yeah. in a place that it's relatable in your own home. I love it. Well, cheers to you ladies. Much more success. And I, I see y'all like these drinks because y'all gotten some refills. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 so yeah. 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 behind the bar. The girlfriends love a good they drink. They love a good yeah. drink. And I do too. Perfect. So coming up next, I'm heading behind the bar with my guy Aaron Zat, who's gonna show me how to make this classic cocktail. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Nightcap. We just had a great conversation with the ladies from the group chat, but I'm behind the bar now with my guy Aaron from mm -hmm. Taste Kitchen, and you're here to do what, baby? Back, back, glass up! That's right, that's right. And you made us a cocktail that, let me tell you, it's very rare that people finish it in the very first seven minutes of the show. Mm -hmm. And you were refilling mm -hmm. right after those seven minutes. So that's obviously right. this French 75 is a hit. So show me how to make it, please. So first of all, French 75 is a classic cocktail. It's probably been around for longer than your parents. So there's a reason why people like it. Uh, but it's also very simple. So let's go through how to make it. All right, come on. Easy ingredients that you can find at your house. We made a little simple syrup, which is sugar and water, equal parts. You got a little fresh squeezed lemon juice. And then, of course, we're going to use a base gin. This is McQueen gin, which happens to be owned by Mr. Wiz Khalifa. First thing we're going to do is put a half ounce of simple syrup in our shaker. Half? Half ounce. All righty. She's lying. Half ounce of lemon juice, same proportion. All righty. What's next, sir? As and I then, spill it all over myself. <laughs> an ounce of gin. Ounce. Now, I'm going to show you a little secret ingredient for a French 75. Normally, you can do gin, lemon, and sugar. But just to make it a little bit more complex, if you want to be a real mixologist, put about a quarter ounce of elderflower in there, too. That's Saint Germain. Correct. I love elderflower. All right, so now we got all these ingredients together. We're going to shake it up, get you a little ice. Oh. I got you. Thank you, sir. So what do you do? Do you Let's jump see what the over? Shaking technique is like. How do you? What do? You, okay, in this instant, do you top it like this? Or actually, that is the smarter thing. I, I'm asking stupid questions. That's all. Don't even. The don't even listen. The to important me. part is that you put them together, one, uh -huh. and then you seal it. So see, I gave it that little slap. Yeah, there. I did that, but do I that. probably made it too hard to, to open it. I didn't take too much. I just need to take the technique is right. See, you said like. So I I'm gonna I'm 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 show you. You got you got a wrist shake. Yeah. That's you got I a can. chest shake. You got an elbow shake. Or you got a shoulder shake. Oh, I like the shoulder shake the best. You gotta figure out which one is better for you. I like the shoulder shake. That's good. Carefully. Oh, so we ain't dumping it like the last time you were here. Nah. This is a little bit more elegant. Wow, you, hold on, I need y'all to see the difference in our cocktail. <laughs> who knows what they're doing and who doesn't? Here's the part that's gonna make both of our cocktails amazing. Yes. A French 75 gets topped off with a bubbly wine. Now, normally this would be a champagne, okay. but you can also use whatever your favorite bubbles are, whether it be Prosecco or whatever you might have in your refrigerator, as long as it's light and bubbly. Okay. okay. Putting that on top of our French 75. Make sure you don't pour it too fast. So 
so it doesn't bubble over. Press that. Yeah, ours looks very different. I'm gonna need you to do a straw test on mine. Well, I'm not gonna I lie. I have, I, have, I have a secret ingredient in mind that I that you might. Oh not wow! In. Okay, see, no. You know what the secret ingredient is? What? Love, yeah. perfection. Love. I knew he was gonna do that. Love. I'll do my heart like this. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, well, once you're done, you have a nice, beautiful cocktail. Hope we with a little froth on top. Yes. Cheers. Oh, cheers. look at them. Look at them. They thirsty. The girl. Oh, the snap. group okay. chat is thirsty. All right. Okay, let me make some Listen, more drinks first before I get You better drinking. go to Amazon Prime and Tubi and find these ladies and the funny fellas. I need them back on the show. Riri, you know how to make that happen. Well, cheers to you. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Missed out on the nightcap? Well, head on over to our YouTube page and catch up with Carolina. You can watch full episodes anytime you want. And don't forget to share it with your friends because we got to keep the conversation flowing. So this one is not going to hurt as much as this one. Watch the nightcap at 1130 on Fox 26 and anytime on Fox Soul.